welcome to another edition of Screencasts Online. My name is Rosemary Orchard, and today's show is all about TaskHeat. TaskHeat is a task management application with a difference. So for those of you watching who are fans of Setup and already have it installed, you can just install this from Setup directly for free. If not, you can also download TaskHeat from the Mac App Store. TaskHeat is also available on iPhone and iPad as a universal application. That said, for most of today's show, we will be focusing on TaskKeat on macOS. I, like many of you, have a task management system, and in fact, I primarily use OmniFocus. But every so often, a special project comes along that just works differently, and it requires my brain to work differently as well. For the last several months, I've been using TaskKeat to manage moving house, which is a project with hundreds of subprojects and thousands of actions, or at least it feels like that to me. As well as the flowchart view, you can directly drill down into a list view, which has made this perfect for me. I'm going to start by opening TaskKeat for the first time. The first time I open TaskKeat, it starts by asking me whether or not I want it to be able to send me notifications. Just like in almost every task management system out there, TaskKey allows you to add due dates to tasks, so I'm going to go ahead and allow it so it can remind me of those all important dates. I'll just resize my window a moment. Now here to start with, on the left hand side we have a sidebar, and at the moment we have our actual view. An actual view is a list of tasks which we can do right now. That means that they're not blocked by a preceding task. Next up, we have the today view, which would show me all of my tasks due today. After this, we have our project section, where we have a default project and the ability to create a new project. And after this, we have an overview with our upcoming tasks and our anytime tasks. Across the top, we can see which view we're in and whether we're using our flowchart view or a list view. We can also toggle on or off whether or not we can see completed tasks, and we can go ahead and add a new task at any time. However, before we add a task, I'm going to start with a project. I'll just click on New Project, and I'm just going to call this Moving House. That's it. That's all you need to do to create a project. You just need to give it a name. Now, if I go over here at the top, then I can also just click on my project name here in the title, and this would allow me to rename it. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple-related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple-related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new, up-to-date tutorials each week as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone, and even your Apple TV using the members only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine, published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone, and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a Screencasts Online member. <laughs> 